Hi guys, WineTuber here and in today's video I'm going to talk about non-alcoholic wines. How are they made and how they taste? Let's find out! Probably most of you know that I work in a wine shop in the city center of Dublin on a daily basis and I've noticed increase in sales of non-alcoholic wines. And here's a few reasons why people choosing non-alcoholic wines. Number one, healthy lifestyle, which is very trendy now. Number two, religious reasons, which is I fully understand and respect. Number three, you might be pregnant. If so, congratulations. Number four, you might be designated driver. Number five, some people have a serious healthy problems. If so, I'm really sorry to hear about it. Number six, you might do some dry January, which is always your choice. And finally, some people don't drink of all, like my mom. So fair play to you, mommy. Many people think that non-alcoholic wine has to be cheap as does not contain alcohol. However, non-alcoholic wines follow the traditional winemaking process before the alcohol is removed. Also, producers have to invest money with winemaking equipment, which is not cheap. This is why some non-alcoholic wines can cost more than you think. And now, here are the top three techniques how to remove alcohol from the wine. The first technique is called vacuum distillation. Wine is transferred to the distillation column to extract the aromas, and the wine is transferred to the column again in order to remove the alcohol. This technique is widely common in Germany. The second technique is called reverse osmosis, which is cross-flow filtration system. Wine is pumped at the high pressure through the membranes to separate the water and ethanol from the wine. The third technique is called spinning cone column. Spinning cone rotates on a very high speed to break down the wine to different fractions. This process takes place in lower temperature to keep the natural freshness and aromas of the wine. This technique, by the way, is quite popular in the United States of America and in Australia. And now I'm gonna show you three very cool non-alcoholic wines available in Ireland, UK and the United States of America. This one I'm gonna show you today, it's Colonel Riesling 2021, produced in Germany. The best particular part about this wine is that taste and smell like a Riesling. On the nose, it's full of citrus, green apples and hint of flintiness. On the palate, it's super refreshing, dry and very citrusy. The retail price is only 15 euro and I highly, highly recommend. The second product I'm gonna show you today, it's called Wild Idol Rosé blend of Dolphin and Merlot. This is sparkling wine that actually cannot be called wine because it was produced from unfermented grape juice. And according to European Union, wine can be only called wine when reached 8.5 ABV. However, this sparkling wine is absolutely amazing. On the nose have loads of red fruits, peaches, white strawberries and rhubarb. On the palate it's medium dry, very fruity and super, super elegant. The retail price is only 35 euro and it's absolutely amazing. Finally, time for the red. I have with me wine produced by Casa Emma called San Giovese Zero in Tuscany, Italy. Wine on the nose, it's pronounced, showing aromas of plums, blueberries and pomegranate. On the palate, it's medium body, super fruity with lovely balsamic finish. This wine could be even slightly chilled during the summer and the retail price is only 16 euro and it's absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for watching. I have to say that non-alcoholic wines really improve in terms of quality. However, there's one thing missing. Imagine having a ribeye steak without fat. And this is what missing in non-alcoholic wine, which is a bit of structure and body. But overall, they're absolutely amazing. Anyways, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.